Hey everybody, I thought I would pick a different location for this one, and since a lot of this movie takes place outside, I thought what better place to do that than something like this. So hopefully you can hear the birds and hopefully there's not too much traffic noise uh, and you can still enjoy this review. Okay, today I am reviewing a little independent movie. Uh, I believe it was released in 2019, but only probably in festivals. Uh, it is currently available uh, VOD streaming. Uh, it is called Driveways, and it's pretty much a three-person movie. Uh, first of all, it is directed by Andrew Ahn, it's A-H-N, uh, written by uh, Hannah Boss, B-O-S, and Paul Ther Theron. I can't say it very well, sorry about that. Uh, and it has pretty much three main stars. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll give you the thumbnail of this. And this is definitely one of those movies that have done wrong. Could either be really awkwardly um, over the top kind of social sort of drama, or it could be a really schmaltzy, sentimental um, kind of uh, drama as well. But it's neither of those things. It's really subtle and really good. The basic setup is this. Uh, you have a... Uh, single mom and she is with her young son he's nine years old or just turning nine during the movie actually and she is going to her sister's house her sister has recently passed away and she has to clean out the house so she can sell it um, and she discovers as she gets there that her sister had been a hoarder so it's a pretty big job uh, it seems to be during the summer so her young son is spending a lot of the time just kind of wandering around with not a whole lot to do uh, and then the next door neighbor uh, Dell played by the great and unfortunately recently passed uh, Brian Dennehy uh, sitting out on the porch while the kid is, you know, doing things next door. Now, oh, and I'll just mention the mom's name is Kathy uh, and she is played by Hong Chow and the son Cody is played by Lucas J. Uh, now what I would say right off the bat is this is one of those movies you can imagine well, for example, Clint Eastwood in uh, Gran Torino, you know, he's the, you know, the blustery racist neighbor. And, you know, the whole thing is he's kind of, well, he's not, he's the racist with the heart of gold, who's also the white savior and all these kind of really over the top um, cliched sort of things. Whereas in this one, it could go those routes or it could be a real, you know, MAGA learning to understand the other side kind of story. And it's none of those things. Brian Dennehy uh, is a vet. He goes to the VFW. He's got his Korean veteran hat that he wears sometimes. But it's not done in a stereotypical way. He's just hanging out there on his porch. You know, he's kind of just doing his thing, living his life. And he doesn't really go out of his way to uh, insert himself into the life of this kid. Um, but there's a few moments where they cross paths and they slowly build up kind of a sort of a, a friendship. Now, one of the real big strengths of this movie, I would say, is the kid, Lucas J. I love the way he's written, and I love the way it's performed. Um, it really captures, I don't know, it's hard to describe. If you are more of an introverted, um, solitary kind of person, especially as a kid, um, kind of capturing the loneliness and the awkwardness of those summer days when he doesn't really have friends, doesn't really have anyone to talk to, he's kind of a nervous kid, but he's a sweet kid, and they really capture that in a subtle way, and the very, very slow way that he kind of reaches out to Dell and Dell reaches out to him are truly, um, you know, truly emotionally awesome. They're, they're really, truly emotionally um, impacting, and once again, not in a sentimental way. Um, both of them are a little bit suspicious of each other, and both of them are a little withholding in what they'll give back to each other. And I think that is um, a really great thing that this movie does, is kind of show their slowly building um, care for each other. Now, the mother, on the other hand, is also really good. She could be the stereotypical, um, you know, hardworking mom trying to make it on her own, you know, with her kid in tow and not a lot of money and some of those aspects are there but we also see at the beginning she's kind of cold and distant and she's a little bit of a hard ass and she's not what you'd expect exactly of her either 
and you slowly get to see kind of her cracks um, grow a little bit and let, let her emotions out a little bit. So once again, I would highly, highly recommend uh, driveways for a really good um, emotionally satisfying drama. And I think that this is what indie films at their best do best. They really give you a character driven small films about big subjects. So they're small in scope, but they're big in like emotional truth, I guess I would say. And these kind of movies really are gems and there aren't a lot of them quite like this. Uh, these are the kind of movies I think you'd get a little bit more of in the, hmm, I wanna say late 70s, early 80s. There's a lot of these little, little gems kind of floating around and there's not so many of them these days. Even the little movies try to kind of be a big thing. And I appreciate the, the, the really quiet small moments. And it's not boring, that's the thing. These characters are great and all the small events that they have in their lives are entertaining to watch because you pretty quickly are already invested in all of these characters. Um, so for me, I guess this is going to be a four and a half star movie. Uh, really, really, really solid movie. If there's any half star taken off of it, um, possibly it's just that there is, there's some side characters, there's some side kids and stuff that are okay. There is one side character that's a little bit cliched as kind of the busy, buzzy, busy buddy, nosy neighbor type um, that kind of inserts herself into it for a couple minutes, but such a small, small bit that it doesn't really detract from the movie, you know, in, in the least. So uh, once again, check it out, Driveways.